Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A couple months ago, I did a video on the RT6600 AX Synology firewall, where we created a couple networks and some Wi-Fi networks. One thing we didn't add into that video was firewall rules, and that's what we're gonna do today. So just a quick overview of what was done. We created four different networks, the admin, staff, guest, and IoT. We have another Synology NAS sitting on 192, 168.1.150. So the guest network and the IoT network, we're gonna have those completely blocked out from seeing anything else. The staff network, the only thing we'll give that access to is the Synology NAS on 1.150. If you didn't see my other video, I will post that down below. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. We have a Discord server and I do have affiliate links down in the description below. So now I'm into the Synology router interface and this is our local networks that I created in the last video. If we click on say the guest network and then go edit, we're gonna see that network isolation isn't enabled currently. But since we want the guest and the IoT network completely isolated, this is what we would want. If we enable network isolation, it's not gonna have any communication between our subnets. So I'm gonna press okay on that. So just to show you that the IoT network could still get to that Synology NAS, I'm gonna put my phone onto the IoT network and then we're gonna to try to ping it. So this is my cell phone and it is on a Wi-Fi network for the IoT. So I'm gonna to try to ping that NAS at 192.168.1.150. And you can see that that communication is going through. So I'm gonna go back to our local networks and I'm gonna enable that guest isolation. We'll let this ping run and it should stop. So now we'll go down to the IoT network, we'll go to edit, and then we're gonna enable network isolation and press okay. Now we'll bring my phone back up and we should see those pings drop. And as you can see, just from doing network isolation, we're not able to hit that NAS anymore. So if you wanna completely isolate your networks, this is the best way to do it. All right, so now we have those two networks completely isolated, but we need to block out our staff network from seeing the other networks and then allowing it to our Synology NAS. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to security. From security, we're gonna to go to firewall. And here I'm gonna press create. So I'm just gonna call this block staff to networks. The protocol is gonna be TCP and UDP and we'll have to create another rule if we wanna block out ping messages, so ICMP. So our source is gonna be a LAN and this is gonna be of our staff network. We're gonna leave the IP address to all and we're also gonna leave the ports to all. Under the destination, it's gonna be a LAN and we're gonna select and then we're just gonna select every other network except the staff network and press OK. Once that's done, we're gonna select OK. One very important thing that you have to do is press the save button or these rules won't apply. I did miss one thing, so let's go back and tell that rule. We'll just press edit and if we scroll down to the bottom, this is what action we're gonna do. We're either gonna allow it or we're gonna deny it. For this one, we want to deny it. So we'll deny, press OK, and then we'll save again. Now we have that blocking rule in place. We shouldn't be able to get to the Synology NAS. This phone is on the staff network and we're pointing towards port 5000 on the NAS and that's the DSM front page. So I'm gonna press go. And as you can tell, it's not getting to our Synology NAS because we have that rule. But if we bring up the ping application, our ICMP messages will still go through. Now, if I try to ping the NAS, you will see it successful. So we'll go ping and you could see that the ping replies are coming back to us. So if you wanna block out those messages, we need to create another firewall rule and we'll do that right now. So we'll go to create, we'll give it a name of block ping to NAS. And under our protocol, it's gonna be ICMP. The source is gonna be a LAN and that's gonna be of our staff network. And the destination, we're just gonna block all pings for all the other networks. So primary guest in IoT and press okay. And then we're gonna deny it and press okay again and then save. And after that firewall rule was written to the Synology, you could see that the requests are now timing out. Now that we have our blocking rules in place, we wanna allow that staff network to get to our Synology NAS. So we need to create another rule. We'll click create. This time we'll do allow staff to NAS. The protocol is gonna be TCP and UDP. The source is gonna be a LAN of our staff network. And then the destination is gonna be a LAN and we're gonna select our default network or our primary network. Under the IP address, we're gonna to wanna to just specify the Synology NAS. So we'll go to specific IP and then we'll select. If you had a range of IPs, you could add that here or we could do a subnet. We just have a single IP of 192.168.1.150. 
then I'll press OK. You could also select certain ports. So if you wanted them to only access Synology Surveillance Station, you could put in the custom port there and that's all they would be able to get to. Right now, I'm just going to leave it at all and the action will be to allow and then we'll press OK. So if we press save right now, this still wouldn't work because the allow rule is under the block rule. So we need to drag this up to the top and then press save. Now bringing my phone back up, let's navigate to the Synology NAS and we'll press go. And you can see that the DSM is coming up, but we won't be able to ping it because we don't have ICMP enabled on this. So doing a ping, it still fails, which is probably fine because we don't need the staff to be able to send ICMP messages to it. So that's going to be it for this video on the Synology RT 6600AX firewall rules. There is a lot more that you could do depending on your scenario, what you're trying to block and what you're trying to allow. The next video that we'll do on this firewall will be for VPNs. If there's anything specific that you would like to see please leave it in the comments below if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you're new here please subscribe and hit the bell icon all right thanks